Hey, what's up guys, Greg Z here. Thought we'd just listen to a little bit of music before I started. I'm always gonna love this thing. But this is the next episode of our computer tutorials. This is just giving me an idea. Maybe I could implement some note blocks into this thing somewhere so I know when functions are finished. That's just a little thing that I thought about then. And in today's episode, we're gonna try and cover this little blue bit down here, which comes at the back of our memory cells. Uh, I think we've completely finished up our memory cell last time. Let me have a little quick look. Uh, right, okay, there's a couple of things we need to do with the memory cell. And we'll need to link it up background to the main bus here. So we have the memory cell flowing both ways. We can send in information from it and draw information uh, to, to our, our main cell from, the, from our saved cell. So... That will be our first task. Um, something's just annoying me quickly. Let me just. In theory, these don't need to be here. Oh, whoopsies. Um, yeah, it's quite a good idea to. I said it in a in a previous episode. You can kind of just, you can visually make your ALU how you want how you want it to look. So I like I like to have a control panel, which I'm just going to quickly finish up like this. So I, won't, I won't do this all, the, all this type of stuff on camera all the time. I'm just going to show you. You can always build little sections just like I have over on that one. But I suppose we're going to get down to it because I don't have much time. Uh, I've got things to be doing today actually which is a rare occasion. Uh, let's get the block of quartz and like we did with our memory cell down here we're going to add on this little s section here. There's two, two bits there. It's very simple you know. You should be able to do it relatively easily, but like that, and like that, all the way along. You know, we've done this before, it's very simple and it's not very hard to do. And we'll get our redstone torches and our repeaters. And just have them all coming out like that, into these torches, they'll be like that, inverted again. So in theory, in theory, if we wipe this cell quickly, and we go and we select the far right it'll be far right all along here and all along here until it gets into here and then for it to come out the other side let's quickly save it when it comes out the other side we're still on the right side basically is the deal because this thing here this somewhat inverts it this is why we have an inverter here and it inverts it so that the memory cell can save it and then we have to invert it again in order for our output to be kind of working, you could say. And now there's an important thing. When we make this little blue line here, which we're going to do very shortly, you must, must, must make sure that this cell, this uh, this bit here, which is our um, bit number 128 I think this one is is it I think I might be completely wrong when I say that two four six eight and that's 24 that's gonna be 128 yeah okay so our bit number 128 what that one here we must make sure that when we take this signal back down and around here that it is on our bit number 128 and now we do that by taking it to the far side and this is our bit number 128 here so everything is kind of somewhat inverted so it's on the left side here but then when we're on the inside it's on the right side so we need to we need to bear that in mind and I'll show you show you, show you what I mean by that in a minute now here we have how we're gonna take this down uh, and to do that it's quite relatively simple it follows this same design here this pattern I'm gonna go quickly show you how I did it over here right so here we're coming straight out of the torches like we did this 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 bit here is all to do with the adders and we'll get onto that later but ignore that for now just this light light blue wall here and what I mean by that is our very far right bit here goes all the way down here goes all the way around the outside but then it goes to our very far left bit here so that's what I mean by that but we need to get building this It's relatively simple as soon as I finish this uh, this uh, kind of uh, ladders bit here then I'll stop about here and I'll just let you do the rest 
apart from this bit I'll show you where this needs to go this is another one of our little inverter things underneath that stop the signal from always going through and I'll explain why we need them again but I definitely need to stop talking for a bit and we need to get building so that's where all of our stuff is going to go like that and now as per usual we go with our crisscross so let's quickly move that over there that'll be easier and like that and now from this one here we don't really have to do much with this in theory we could just take it down to the right straight down but mm, we could do that I'm just going to measure this up quickly so this is where everything's going to be let's draw a line here so it's going to be roughly this height I need to remember that but we need to just get this down, so in order to do that we're going to follow our our lovely little path that we have. And you know what, I'm going to quickly go measure the height, let's hit F3, and measure your height here, so mine is uh, 14, and we need to get this thing down to 14 as well, 16, 15, 14, so that will be the bottom. 14, where's 14? Yeah, yeah, okay. So now I'm going to take this far right bit and I'm going to continue our pattern all the way down. Like so. Like that. And we're going to do that for the same with this one and this bit and this bit and this bit and this one and this one and this one. Like I've done over here. But you don't do the ladder all the way down. Let me let me explain what I mean by that. You don't do the, ad, the the ladder all the way down in the sense that this bit here goes down one and then goes. You see? So we're gonna go. I'm gonna go mark that out quickly. So if we grab this one here, so you don't go straight down. We go down one bit like so, like here and then here and then here. And then this bit goes down to 14 from here. And now you'll see why we do this in a second, because it's just, it's just to make a nice curve of the bus, really. There's nothing technical behind it. We do it purely for the curve of the bus. And now, once we're down to 14 like this, this is where our first bit will be. So I lined it up perfectly, actually. I wasn't expecting that. And now, this bit is our... 128 bit that we was talking about so our 128 bit has to power here and so we'd put the torch there so that means that this one will be there that 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 one will be there and I think this wasn't one two three four five six seven eight we've actually run out of bus space so this is why we need to build our buses nice and long so let me extend that out a tiny little bit and then I'll do a little bit more extending off camera. But a lot of today's episode will probably be off camera because of the the easiness of what you need to do. It's very, very simple. Um, the first thing that I'll do off camera is building this bus a little bit longer. Maybe even our black bus here. That can go out a tiny bit longer. But as you can see here, all we're doing making a bus as per usual a lot and a lot I think I've said this once before a lot of this series is bus making um, but you need to understand why all the buses do what they do how they do what they do and stuff like that because as you can see over there buses the main I say the main mass of this thing is buses his bus there's a bus there's a bus there's one down there there's one down here uh, we've got all of the three light ones here, that one, that one, that one, and we've got our tiny little bus here. In theory, you could kind of call this a bus as well. Um, so there's a lot and lot of this bus making, this type of pattern here. So a lot of this is just filling in huge areas and gaps like I'm doing right now. And, and it's, it, it, it's not boring as such, it's just time consuming. Now, 
once you've filled this all in. Which I should be cutting really. But I won't for now. I might cut some more out later. I need to definitely start cutting these videos though because they will get extremely long. So you know what we what we could do? In theory we should come over here and kind of just and make sure that our memory cell has all of it saved like that so we've all got everything on and we know where we're going so like that 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 and that's how this is going to go so hold on a second if i quickly demonstrate how this second line will go this one will start there and it will go down here. Oh, hold on. And out here. That one has to be there, and we have to have double repeaters there. And the rest of that can be straight up here. Let's quickly finish this off. And pop that there, and pop that there. And then we'll have power all the way down here. And watch, we can go like that and continue our our design and along I'm not going to go too far with this because I can't remember exactly where our line goes I don't think it really matters I think it's just about here somewhere so just for safe reasons I'm gonna cut it off here and we have to continue that all the way down which should be pretty self-explanatory so uh, you don't have to follow block for block what I'm doing right now it's literally just a case of doing our design like this which I'll quickly show you fill it all in like that but then that one comes off here while the rest goes a block lower and then that one comes off there whilst the rest goes a block lower this one will go a block lower and so on like that. So this one will come down here. You can see the, the 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 pattern of the thing. Really, it's not that hard. Put that as that. That as this. Double, double, block. Ta-da! And then from up here, alternate it back down. Put the blocks on top. And you can see how this is forming up. Now, I'm probably going to time lapse this a little bit slower. So uh, so you can still kind of see what I'm doing, but I'm going to time lapse it from here on 3, 2, 1, go. Right, I've just come up to nearly finishing here. Let's just quickly touch this off like here. And that, 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 that. That was quite a lengthy time lapse. This actually took me longer than I thought it would. But I'll see what I can do when I come to edit that. It shouldn't be too long. And here and here and here and here. Oh, yeah. Alternating all the way, nothing touches each other, remember that, that's the main thing of this whole computer design. Each line is individual to itself and the whole machine would work without any of the other lines being on, you're just using one line. That's something that you need to have conscious in your mind, everything needs to be separate. But that, right there, 
is how we make the, the kind of elevator going down. Now I showed you the first bit, how it goes down one like that. I'll quickly show you that from here. Take that down. And then the rest of it just goes down one more and one more and one more and one more. And then when you get to the end, these are last three, you kind of just have to extend the bus out and go round. It's all it's all relatively simple and you should be able to grasp the the, the design sim simply. Yeah, I would say you'd you'd get it. Um there's one thing, one thing that we need to do. Now, I should quickly show you that. It is you you probably haven't noticed it before. But right here next to our input line, there's a big long line here. Now, hmm goes all the way along the input line and finishes there. It finishes right next to our white bus. Now that suggests, well I just one hit it, that suggests that it has something to do with our bus, which it does. By the way here you can see that I've, I've implemented the, the other type of design because it's a little bit quicker. Uh, this design here with the diagonals with the thing that we used for this black bus is a lot lot quicker than this crisscross design um, And that's why I use it on this bus down here And why I use it on these buses here where I can this bit I couldn't really use it and Up here our, our ladder design is crisscross and it's a lot faster than this one And that's for a very specific reason. It's because it uses Instead of uh, um, two repeaters every three blocks, it uses one repeater every three blocks instead of two. So it's in theory, it's quite a lot faster. But right here, this is a very simple part, and it's basically the the this. Well, right here, I'm going to quickly show you what it does. Let's quickly reset all and then invert cell information. If we press this button here. That should power. It's our reset button for our main cell. Now, I've got a reset all button here, which links up to it as well. It links up to this part. And an invert main cell information, which doesn't. But then the clear main cell goes straight from here and goes up here and inverts here. As you can see, there's quite a lot of other functions that link into this function. This one being one of them, and this one right here, we can quickly work out what this is. It's this one here. Calculate memory cell 1 and 2. And wipes the screen first and then calculates it. And let's see what other functions link into it. This one here, which goes from down here and down here. So save memory cell 1 and save memory cell 2. Clear the screen first when, when you save it. So look, if I put the 1 in, save memory cell 1, and it clears it. And this white, this big long white line here has something to do with clearing the main cell. As you can see right here, we have a torch, and it comes off of this little section here. Now when we copy this button here, is to copy our cell information to our main screen. And this is going to be our first function that uses another function. This might give me FPS troubles, let's turn it all off and erase that. Now, say we save the number 8 to our memory cell 1, like that, it's in there, and we want to copy memory cell 1 to main cell. But we have uh, 24, that's 24. If we have 24 on the screen already, we press copy and it wipes our screen. It should do. Hold on. Let's have a little look at that. Uh, copy memory cell 1, let's press that. Ah, hold on a second. Aha, uh -huh, right. It wasn't linked up properly. This should flash. Yeah. Okay. I wonder when that broke. I didn't realise. Right. Let's quickly wipe the screen. And let's invert the main cell information. We know that we have the number 8 stored in here. But let's just prove it. And let's press copy work memory cell 1. It should wipe our screen. And then put the 8 in. 
So that is what this little white line's for. You know what? I'm gonna quickly go check my Wow, the whole time my functions haven't been working properly. Look at that. Right, that's something to take note of. Um but you know, that is the first thing that we're gonna put in that uses wiping the screen before another function. So it's two functions at once, basically. And now how we're gonna do that is we're gonna get our line of pistons here and add in another line we're all getting we get more and more and you know what put another line of repeaters in above here just in case because we know we had that piston glitch and we know we come straight out of here like that and we go up to here and that is here and we go down here so that's our first torch that's our second torch that's our third torch so on, off, on, off, like that. And then basically when that flashes from our cells over here, it should wipe our cell information. So let's take this all along to our to our memory cell, to our uh, bus line here where it stops. And we need to make sure that this is boosted all the way along. Uh, so be prepared to, to kind of test it. Now, how are we going to test it? We're going to go like that, and it works, okay? So, the next memory cell along, which will be, this will be a big block, and it will be probably along here somewhere. That would obviously need a couple of repeaters to get it to there. So, that's what, I guarantee that I have that over here somewhere. Let's quickly go down, and then run over there. I have a few different repeaters along that line in order to get it to where I want it to go. So remember to keep that boosted and you should be all right. This has turned into quite a long episode, so let's quickly try and finish up that uh, blue bit here. We have it right here. I did this one a little bit different, actually. Hmm. Right, okay, that's fine. Um, and from here, it comes out right there so let's count this backwards this whole thing is flipped aha right okay we've made I have made a small mistake and I've realized that uh, a little bit for earlier on but that's fine right here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven roughly eleven it shouldn't it doesn't have to be that accurate I've realized uh, that I've made a mistake with this thing about that I'll quickly show you how to fix that in a second but from this first cell here 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and then put in our line there like we usually do and then make sure it's connected up ding dong ding dong invert our main s our information like that and then continue our pattern like that and that is where we get the power and because we're inverting it here notice how everything's inverted so we invert it once there and then reinvert it there and then reinvert it there so it's quite so basically we invert it there and then reinvert it there and because we invert it again there we need to invert it once more for our inversions that will happen here now I'll show you what I mean by that on down here and that should link up to there now let me quickly demonstrate why let's count this up quickly this is our 120 hold on press toggle down four right right for example let me quickly explain what I'm trying to explain let's select 128 and it will go down our cell, down our input cell, and now let's save it into our. Oh, I'm going to the wrong place. Let's save it into our memory cell one, and it goes down here, goes down here, and it turns off, which means let's quickly take our 128 to where it wants to be, 
it needs to re go on to this line over here so that there and we're gonna have to cut this down like that that'll be fine and make sure that this torch goes directly onto something like uh, one of these blocks so how are we gonna do that we're gonna have to switch around our inversion this is something that you're gonna come across a lot um, it's always good to do this quickly I'll show you what I'm talking about we've did our crisscross to the end and it turns out that we had it kind of out of sync you could say so we need this block here to be redstone so let's make sure that all of these blocks are redstone and then our torches will go here like that but we need all of these to be redstone it must be redstone so then let's take our pattern backwards like that basically what I'm trying to say is never start your patterns from here never go right I'm gonna start with a repeater there and one there because then it might not work when you get to the end so it's best to do it from this way backwards and now let's quickly finish this up I'm gonna have a small cut here as well right that's that finished up and it is as you can see because we haven't added in our little section under here this thing I can't remember what I was going to call that, um, our controller I think I was calling it last time, but because we haven't added it in, it is constantly powering this line here, which we don't want. We don't want that happening, because if we turn that on, then it, it, it just doesn't go. We can turn all the other ones off. But we can't control that cell which is bad we want to be able to control that cell so to do that we have to add in our little controller section and now I'm gonna do mine here it's probably a decent place to put it and we need to be very careful of what we're doing here because I'm not sure how far back we want this. I'm not sure if I want it too close to this so I might drop that back a little bit. Yep, yeah, okay. I'm going to do it here like so like that and then let's put in our torches and then put in how we're going to turn them off redstone repeaters as we did previously quickly cover this up and I'm going to try and wrap the episode up here because it's getting very long and I'm finding stuff quite hard to explain because of it's getting long because that it's getting long and remember we had this little section last time that I realized I'd done wrong and we put the torch there put a repeater here that goes up into this thing here goes up one more block, goes along the top and inverts itself. Now let's quickly do that. Uh, I think that's a repeater there and that's there. So I think that is that done. Let's put our button in. I'm going to put it there. So our inputs are all off because we're completely inverting them using our controller which is good. Um, I'm going to wipe. go ahead and wipe our cell, so that's done, and let's save nothing into it, so this should wipe it completely. All of our inputs are off, but our controller is doing its job by keeping it all off here. Yet, when, But then when we save our first, so let's put input number one, let's save that. The, one of these lines should come on, this line here. The torch goes off but the line is still on and then when we want to save it into our cell uh, we press this button this line will go off along with all, uh, along with all of these other lines but these torches will stay on 
So the only line that will go off is this one, which will flash this torch, which will power this, and it will go travel along here, and it will go up here, and it should save our number one into our main memory cell here. So this light should come on, and this little thing here, if there's anything on the screen, so let's in this case, let's put a four into the screen. This little contraption here will send a power to this little line here, which we will now refer to as our reset line, and it will reset our main screen information just before our uh, our number one gets to the screen. So let's watch this happen. Let's press the button. It'll wipe the screen. Then our number one will come round and flick on. Try that one more time. Put the number four in and click the button and watch it do its job. Number one. Right, so today we have successfully added a new function, but it's a special function because it is our first ever function that when we activate it, it uses a separate function to carry it out. So basically, it's our first function with two in one. Now, eventually we'll get to uh, very complicated functions like putting in a number four into memory cell one and two, and then putting in something else into num memory cell number three. So all of our memory cells have, have got information in them, and then invert our main cell. So everything all all of the cells have data in them right now and then when we press our reset all button it uses four different functions it uses our reset main cell uses our reset memory cell one reset memory cell two and three and resets all of them like that that's one of the biggest functions that we're going to put in and now that uses multiple different lines it comes up here powers this one too powers up here goes all the way down here powers this line and this line powers this line so a lot of things in this are connected look at how many connections there are around here this whole computer talks to itself different things talk to each other so this cell talks to this and this cell talks to the adder and the adders talk to the main cell which then talk to this so everything is connected in this it's very it's very easy to build and then when I look at it now after building it all I really sometimes I go wow that is that's quite complicated there's a couple of things that you have to get your head round in this build but it should be fine it's gonna be fine so hopefully you followed this episode very well and you should have added in our blue bit. We haven't made much building progress today, but we've put we've made a step forward in the idea that our memory cell 1 is done. We need to we can add another few functions to it, but overall the cell itself is done. We have our main two functions that need to be added to this thing. But Apart from that, we're done. And on that bombshell, I will see you in the next episode of how to make a redstone CPU. We're not getting uh, nowhere near as big as that, but we're getting there. And we've got how many functions so far? We've got one function two function, three function, four function. So I think we've got four functions so far and hopefully eventually we will have as many functions as this thing has which at the moment you can see all of them here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 around 17 different functions and we've got four so far but for now i'll see you in the next episode guys thanks for watching likes comments subscribes are all very much appreciated if you have any ideas or complaints feel free to drop them in the comments because i do read them all the time and uh i guess you know we're just 
we're just gonna have to keep going with this thing. It's gonna be quite uh, time consuming adding all of these things in as well. But eventually we'll get there. But for like the 100th time, thanks for watching, guys. And I'm going for real now. A goodbye.